Good afternoon, ugly legs, beautiful slippers. We're in my room, and I'm here to share with addicts that would like possible, you know, help. As far as just, you know, I just want to share the way that is keeping me uh, focused, laser focused. I'm not using drugs and doing things that are productive. And, you know, the way I live my life and live in my room. My room only works for me. Why? Because I'm me. However, maybe what I'm sharing right now may be of some assistance to someone who really needs it. And that is my goal. Therefore, I will share the way I live in my room. To start off, I have a bonsai tree. That bonsai tree um, represents, you know, serenity and nice calmness. Uh, You could shape a bonsai tree into any way you want. And uh, the way you shape it is a pure reflection of how your thought process is or how your mentality is. It'll, you know, however beautiful you want to make that thing is how beautiful your mind is pretty much. I have a $50 guitar from Amazon. I just got that a couple weeks ago and I kind of know how to play it. Not much. Uh, Keyboard. I want to learn at least one song on that keyboard. It's a beautiful song. And when I learn how to play that beautiful song, I will post it <coughs> Excuse me, on YouTube and it'll be beautiful. I promise. I make my bed every day. Why do I make my bed every day? Because, dude, if you don't make your bed every day, you might as well just throw in the towel. Come on now. All right. So got a seven day calendar, dry erase board. My dry erase board is my best fucking friend. Oh, no. Nope, second best friend. Because my skateboard is my best friend. Uh, this is my second best friend. Because it keeps me productive. Productive. Productivity. I like, you know, keeping this thing filled for the most part. Literally, it took me 45 minutes to only write this stuff right here. And the reason why it takes me so long is because I don't care how fucking long it takes me to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do in a day. Because I used to spend 45 whole minutes longer than that getting high. So what's 45 minutes to plan out two day, two productive days, right? That's the way I look at it. Um, I don't use the news on my phone. Uh, I don't have any social media. If anyone didn't know that, no social media. I don't use the internet for much. I like getting my information and stuff from pure old school paper and books and shit. I like that old school shit. America. Yeah. With no McDonald's flag underneath an American flag. Have you ever went to McDonald's and saw an American flag like right on top of or right next to a McDonald's flag? Doesn't make sense to me. Um, anyway, fucking, this is like kind of like the messiest area in my room. I don't even want to really go there, but it's not that messy. I don't want to go there. Bookshelf. Need a bookshelf. A beautiful picture of my graduation picture with my cousin. R.I.P. My auntie right there. Got a wallet right next to my depression medicine and my one-a-days. Um, fucking got some clothes that aren't really that neat, but I don't have a closet or that. Oh, I have dressers. I don't even use these things. So that's something I could probably do very soon. Just put some clothes into those dressers so I can make it look a little nicer. Um, yeah, when you have an organized room, that means you have an organized brain. When you have a chaotic room, you have a chaotic brain. That's the way I look at it. Continuing. We have an organized little area right here. Ooh. I think since I stopped doing drugs, I have a little bit of OCD, but that's okay. Better than being high. And so I make sure this area is very nice and tidy all at all times. Uh, files and stuff. Um, yeah, so kitchen, this is my favorite place to be in the morning and at night. Why? Because I'm not on drugs and I can eat stuff. Uh, I like cooking fried rice. I like eating cereal and I like cooking other things that are super easy because I don't know how to cook that well. That's what's in my fridge. It'd be like cribs right now. This is some fried rice. Got a little something extra for later. A little something for probably like right now because I'm getting hungry. Some lunch meat over there, cheese, uh, sharp cheddar, eggs. What's in the back over there? That little baggie right there. 
that baggie right there, spam. Some breakfast sausages over there. Some dressing I never use, Italian and Caesar. I don't even eat salad, really. These plums have been in there for like two weeks. I need to start eating those, they're getting wrinkly. Uh, my butter plate, I got this from the Dollar Tree and it's like one of the best buys I could have ever spent, or one of the best things I could have spent money on because I put butter on the pan a lot. So that thing helps. Um, that's an empty jar with just pepperoncini juice because I might put pepperoncini juice on something that's dry. Oh yeah. The freezer's a little sad. I've got some Uncrustables that I bring to my grandma because she's older and doesn't have teeth. So whenever I go visit her, I'll bring her like three or four of those babies. And I actually just did that for the first time. I hope she likes them. But who doesn't like Uncrustables? Some Hot Pockets over there. Got to have the essentials. Up here, cereal, bread, more bread. Uh frying pan this is my third best friend right behind my skateboard and seven day calendar because i cook on that thing on a daily basis I like to have the sink looking at least halfway decent got some dishes in there now but uh like i said an orderly home an orderly place of living is an orderly brain that's what that equals therefore yes oh this is my fourth best friend coffee maker i don't have caffeinated coffee right now because i'm quitting cigarettes so, um, I can't drink caffeinated coffee because that shit makes me want to have a cigarette. Uh, natural sunlight is something that addicts, active addicts are very afraid of, you know, when every like active light gets on or whenever sunlight gets on an active addict skin, it goes, <laughs> that's how you look. And so now that I'm recovering, I can hit the sunlight on my skin and feel Fucking beautiful about it. Where are we at? We're in the bathroom. We're in the bathroom right now. Why are we in the bathroom? Because I'm showing you my bathroom. Uh, there's my bathroom. You know what happens there. I need a shave, but uh, yeah, I keep it clean. I just washed my my bathtub not too long ago. I keep my toothbrush hung up. And what's that on the mirror? We have sticky notes. What do those sticky notes say? Always focused. Stay humble. Little notes to self that I like to look at to remind myself what I should be doing and to keep me motivated. Oh, one thing I kind of skipped over over here is my fifth pride and joy. It actually should be higher up on that list because this is the wall of this is what I like to focus on right fucking here. My calendar. This is what keeps me organized. This is what lets me know what the fuck I have to do. Oh, what are these? More things to remember. Be productive. Patience is a virtue. Uh, reasons why I quit cigarettes right there. Four of them, but there's probably like a hundred more. And you know, it's funny. I try to make a list of good things that come from smoking cigarettes. Positive things. And you know how many I came up with? Zero. So out of logic and common sense, I was like, okay, fuck cigarettes. That's why I'm on my third day in. And I must say right now, I'm just human and who knows, I may smoke a cigarette tomorrow and I might fuck up, but guess what? When you fall down, you get back up. So, yeah. Um, accountability, I read this every single day. Uh, it says, one of the biggest problems we face every day is being accountable for the changes we want to make. We simply don't do the things we say we will accomplish. We set out on a daily course that turns into a hamster wheel. And unfortunately, the end of today looks like Looks a lot like yesterday. We start with the best intentions to get the most critical tasks done each day in our businesses. But somewhere along the way, we get interrupted, delayed, and taken off track by people and things around us. Somehow, we end up doing the same thing over and over and expect different results. That's insanity. That's like the last sentence right there is the definition of insanity. So, yeah, that's my uh, house. <coughs> If you're like an active addict right now, you're getting high, you're like, damn, I wish I could do something better or just anyone in general that would like to try something different for a better way of life. Don't be like me and wait until you're 28 to do something new. Uh, do it when you're younger. Hopefully someone younger is watching this. If you're older than me, 28, that's okay too. Just get it done now. 
And uh, yeah, stay motivated, uh, stay organized, and keep a healthy mind.